peace, peace, peace. Everybody come on in and join the union. <laughs> join in the party. We're going to see what March energy is already giving. Because it's giving, but it's also in a space of like relax it's already giving an energy of yes spring is almost here yes the birds and the bees are out having a party already pollen is already falling on the cars the trees the houses and in your in your nose um the weather's getting nice and shiny nice and bright heating up uh parties you know parties been partying so that's nothing new um but it's also a space of a reminder of your rebirth so so uh if you've been operating in the space of uh hibernation if you've been in an energy of uh rekindling your relationship with self then you may not be too pressed to get back in in the midst in the action you may be you know slow to roll to going uh, and moving forward in that rebirth energy so congratulations on your um new month energy but again if you're if you've been feeling like uh you know spring is sprung but that don't mean i gotta make moves yet good it's all right it's time for you to continue nurturing and loving on yourself uh, because you are your best and your most important reason for being so we're gonna see what this energy is feeling like for real for reals um because i know for me um i've been creating and creating and creating but i've also been allowing myself the space to rest um and since i've been allowing my space to rest uh, myself the space to rest and i've also been creating at the same time i've already found a balance within that and me finding that balance is allowing me to now go through this new rebirth season this new springtime that's popping off or about to pop off with more grace so i know when to go and i know when to say no so I have been really feeling the opposite, the um, peace loves. I've been really feeling the energy of Jomo. I've been feeling that, that joy of missing out, you know? Um, so that joy of missing out has been giving me, um, you know, more grace, like I said, for me to be me. So we're just going to see what the ancestors, we're going to, you know, allow the ancestors to talk through us and to us to see what they got to say about this new month that is popping off. Um, and it's also leading the way for the new season that is about to pop off, uh, which is also and truly is the new year. So let's see what they got to say. <laughs> I said that a little bit a minute ago. So hold space. Let me see if I can get in. There you go. So the energy that you are needing to hold space for is obviously your higher self, your most inner knowing your truest sense of you um so i said a little earlier in the live a little bit like literally a little bit earlier when i was saying um if you've been feeling like you found your balance or if you've been feeling like you've been um you know enjoying more more space for you and more you know solitude and not even just more solitude just more uh you know balance and peace peace up there you go more peace for yourself then that's what's time for you to do. It's time for you to begin and continue holding space for that because, again, that's ultimately why we're here. Um, so we want to hold this space. And it also means for your friends that may have been in a, in a period of their hibernation for the winter season, um, which is soon to end. If your winter season is coming to an end and they're, and they're um, still in their hibernation mode, it's okay. Allow them to be. So hold space for them as well because, again, not everyone is ready to – just go, you know, throw in the towel and go to everybody's party or everybody's event or everybody's house or everybody's, you know, outside of, you know, being this. It's okay if you want to still stay inside. That's what we're here for. You're here to be for you as you. So hold that space, okay? Let's see what they got to say. Um, my, my candle done already got uncandled. It's all right. We're just going to switch it out for another one. baby here you go baby you go another one since that one wanna go in again oh <laughs> look at god because a broken arrow still shoots honey yes it does so all you gotta do is switch it out so i just said that um you want to be holding space for for finding self and holding space for what did i say for peace and look at that what came out literally right after that one 
So it's time for us to again embrace the energy of peace because sometimes you don't always have to go with what the status quo or the uh, or the community or society is doing. Sometimes we gotta forge our own path and make our own way. So with that being said, if it's if you've been um, in a chaotic energy, if you've been thriving or even just muddled in between the energy of chaos, and you try if you're and you're trying to find your peace, then it's time for you to hold space for yourself. Uh, find space for yourself this is also the ancestor deck so this is clearly someone's grandfather um this is also someone's great uncle i'm also seeing and feeling um this is also someone's great grandfather so this can and, but this is this can it, depending on your age range this is also giving me a brother too so if you are um coming in for peace love thanks for coming in so if you've been operating in you know a, a, a pace of like i said chaos and not really finding and knowing that energy of peace then come back to see what your the masculine people in your family uh specifically ancestors of a grandfather uh a, a great uncle and what also said and a great grandfather these three energies are also speaking to you so that you can f help find your peace again um so let's go ahead and see what the next card is going to say Hmm. because you okay so you haven't been it looks like you haven't been uh finding the energy of peace and you've been operating in chaos because you you're still operating in fear so it's time for you to now hunt them fears track them down so that you can be do uh, what you truly desire um and that's gonna again that's gonna find your new springtime energy um so these march blessings that are down about the march blessings that are bound to come in these March blessings that are about to come through, these March uh, detox and this March uh, relaxation and releasing energy um, is here. Uh, and you can't find it until you hold that space, release that energy of chaos, embrace the energy of peace. And then you're going to be doing that by tracking down your fears and hunting down your desires. So also with that being said how you do that is we need to do some ancestral work so we, we talked about this guy here which is the grandfather energy uh great uncle energy and also a great grandfather energy and now this was giving me like i said this also giving me like i said depending on your age range also said brother um but this is now giving me like a, a cousin this is giving me a cousin energy and he's giving me he looks a little um yes he's a hunter <laughs> Let's, I'm, I'm gonna be real he's a hunter however he's giving me a, he's i feel very feminine energy with him um hunters if you well hunter gathers uh he, he looks he's giving me a feminine energy because um in order to be a hunter a great hunter and a great warrior you have to be aligned and in tune with nature and in order for you to do that you have to be aligned and in tune with yourself so that would be the energy of the feminine the feminine energy is more uh intuitive they're more receptive they you know they give they receive rather they receive the information so with this being said if your uh, fear is in action and i'm not saying your fear is taking action i'm saying your fear is in action like your fear is not doing anything then maybe it's time for you to allow yourself to hold that space so that you can see what you actually want to do maybe you don't have a fear of inaction like not moving maybe you have a fear of doing the wrong thing or a fear of making the wrong move and not saying it's actually the wrong move because everything we do is ultimately for a lesson and a, and a blessing. Um, however, it could be you making a, a move that may not be beneficial for your particular purpose and your particular path. Um, so it it will be for your uh, education, for your blessing, for your up leveling, but it may not be specifically for you. It, meaning you don't have to do it to gain any new enlightenment or to uh, experience any new and to gain any new wisdom. Uh, you'll literally just be doing it for the experience. So in order for you to release what you no longer what no longer serves you and to not make moves that you shouldn't, because you know if you're hunting something, you want to be on the right path. Then it's, you have to hold space have the whole space for what is so that means breathe meditation um do some journaling writing things down um and making plans also that also means making plans and when you're making plans you're going to stick by those plans you're going to actually make a, a pact and a commitment to yourself so that once you do that peace love thanks for coming in uh, so that once you do that you'll actually be doing what you desire you'll be working from your desires so if you are working through that in the energy of peace you're holding space for that energy of peace then whatever you desire will come to you and what you are creating is because you desire it um so let's go ahead and get one or two more cards and then we'll complete this reading uh, okay because after you track down those fears and release them 
and um, work with and through your desires, you will be transforming and unveiling your gifts. So you'll be receiving more. So I say, so we always release to receive, right? And I said, that's the energy of, uh, he's giving me a very feminine energy. A feminine energy is receptive. So guess what? Look who we got next. This is again, a masculine person, but it's giving me very feminine energy. Now look at all the, the energies that come along with that. Because in order for you to be a shapeshifter, in order in order for you to, um, you know, make changes, you have to be able to receive what the knowledge of what you need to change and then take action and begin uh Again, we said the, both the feminine and the masculine to take action to actually implement those changes. So now this is a balanced energy, just like this one is a balanced energy. It's very, very masculine uh, or uh, masculine presenting people on these cards. Uh, however, these are energies that are giving me or cards that are giving me very feminine and masculine energy in both of them. So they're already operating from the spirit of balance. So that's where you're going to find your peace. So once you transform your fears, once you tra excuse me once you transform your fears into your desires you will unveil your gifts your gifts will ultimately make space and hold space for you oh and then that's going to be uh be, <laughs> that's not that's not going to be that is a uh a peaceful and a peace-filled mission that's the why right so your how is going to be given to you in so many different ways your what's are going to be given to you in different so many different ways your why is because you're needing to find peace and you've been doing that by holding space for yourself thank goodness um but you're going to be able to up level this by releasing these fears so that you can release one no longer weighs you down to uh so to rise higher so i said i'm gonna pull one of the cards give me one second so uh the the moon is now in cancer uh cancer is a feminine energy and it also uh works along with cancer is a water sign uh oh, let's try it again cancer is uh the moon is now in cancer the moon is a can the moon is a feminine energy that's why i keep saying feminine energy feminine energy even though these are men um and the moon is since it's in the sign of cancer cancer is a water sign uh, obviously we know the moon affects water the tides and our bodies are 70 plus percent water so if we're operating in a and it's pisces season too ah look at all that water sign water 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 so with that being said, when it comes to your intuitive messages, intuitive messages may be literally talking about water. Uh, excuse me, that um, may be you pushing against a stream and trying to swim upstream when all you got to do is float and just uh, allow yourself to be uh, taken with the current. Um, and that's going to help you transform and unveil your gifts. That's going to help you release your fears and, uh, and embrace your desires because the energy of peace is looking for you and you keep pushing it away because you have not held the space for yourself. So these intuitive messages that you may, may be receiving, again, are in line with what I, what I said earlier by um, taking note, by writing things down, by journaling, and by um, also, we said water. So by you drinking more water, embracing the energy of water, being more flexible, more receptive, more open, uh, again, feminine energy, um, and washing more. <laughs> I don't know if y'all have not been taking uh, those baths that you need to because it's you know it was winter, so you know you thought you can get away with those extra days or two. You no, know, every day, okay, every day we still need to wash. But when you're in your showers, imagine the the water, you know, uh, trickling down and releasing all the energy from the day. Uh, when you're taking your baths, uh, uh, just envelop yourself in the water because water is a healer. Water is emotions. Water is life. Water holds emotions. Water uh, is life. Uh, so again, so this is just five card read real quick, real quick. We want to let y'all know that you have the power. You can do um, and be and so that you can have. So the message today is very simple for this next month that's coming up. Um, again, it is still winter time. It is still the winter season, even though spring is about to be sprung or it feels like a spring outside. It is still technically winter time. So with it still being winter time, we want you to continue to hold space, hold space for you, uh, your hibernation, your um, your period of and I'm putting this in air quotes, your period of death is is for a reason. You need to continue and hold space because there is the uh, the season is not over yet. Spring is about to be here, but it's not it's not here yet. So allow yourself to complete the cycle hold space for yourself while you're doing that because you're going to be and you already will be uh embracing the energy of peace is coming to you again this is a broken arrow so that maybe you um 
operating in the spirit of chaos and an energy of chaos and that's okay disorder is ultimately for your up level so that you can find the peace in the order in that um and then you'll be doing that by tracking down your fears again doing some some shadow work uh doing some deep dives looking at your ancestral history so that you can break those generational curses um you can uh release the patterns and traumas that you've taken on from your dna and also from your immediate family so your mother your father grandfather grandmother sometimes uncles and aunts and also brothers and sisters um we want you to start reading more books that go hand in hand with self-help and also start writing down what you need to be really uh, what you need to release and also start writing down uh what things that you're grateful for so we're going to operate in balance with this so your fears and your desires um so journaling was really going to be a beneficial aspect and add an attribute for you to take on um and also the energy or the actual action of automatic writing automatic writing is literally when you just get a pen and a paper and you write very simple but very effective because of your higher self your spirit your inner man your inner guide will be talking to you and through you and once you read it back you'll be like oh my goodness i didn't even know i needed to hear that oh my goodness i didn't even know i was writing that yeah because it's you doing the work but it's not you speaking is your higher self your truest self your truest sense of self again and once you do that you'll be able to transform and unveil your gifts you'll be shifting up your energy you'll be shifting from your past self into your present self for your future now which will be created by you taking note and of the intuitive messages again uh the sign now the moon now is in the sign of cancer a water sign uh and we are in pisces season again another water sign we need you to flow like water during this next um month of march going into spring because once you flow like water that means you'll be watering and nurturing yourself and you are a plant a house plant that has legs <laughs> you are a tree that has legs that can get up and go um so if you nurture yourself and nurture your seeds then guess what you will grow so thanks so much for being here. I appreciate you. You are um, walking in your divine light. You are being your highest self. And that is the reason for your essence of love, light, and the pursuit of happiness. So keep being you, but continue to hold space. All right. I'll see you later. Bye.